Hey guys, let me know what kinds of things you want to see by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Hey, how's it going? It's Dr. Hobby here, and today I'm going to help you with a pretty common problem that I see people asking about on the internet and here on YouTube, and that's how we can convert a Marklin AC analog locomotive into one that will run on DCC, so you can run it on your Marklin track that is controlled by a Marklin Central Station or some other DCC controller. Okay, one of the ways that you can do this is by purchasing for around 30 bucks one of these Marklin conversion kits. They work really well, and uh, you know, I think in a lot of ways they're worth the money if you wanna go this route. Another way you can do it is to purchase one of these permanent magnets by ESU. They run around 15 bucks. To be honest, I've had somewhat mixed luck with these. I don't know if the plastic is particularly good for holding the two arms in place or not, but I've just decided not to go this route anymore. You know, but the components you already have inside of your HAG or Marklin are actually already suited to converting to DCC, and you don't really have to do anything expensive or special. You know, the magnet here is just fine, except it's not a permanent magnet like you need for a DC motor. But it's an electromagnet, so all you need to do is run some current through it and it will actually turn into a magnet that you can use. Okay, in order to work on magic, we're gonna rely on this little miracle component that's known as a bridge rectifier. It takes inbound uh, some sort of electrical signal. Um, AC is marked here and it converts it to DC, which is really handy for us. They come in all shapes and sizes, including this really small one. They even have smaller ones, but they're always marked with something like these little squiggly lines and then plus minus, and that's the key to what we want here. Now, what's really nice about these little gizmos is they sure are cheap, cheaper than either of the options that I've pointed out to you, and I think that's great because we don't wanna spend a whole lot of money when we don't really have to on this already expensive hobby. Now, the one I've chosen for this project is the 2W06 rectifier, which is really great because it has about a two amp limit. You don't really have to worry about voltage too much with rectifiers, but amperage does certainly make a difference. So this one will suit really well since the DCC decoder I'm using actually tops out at about 1.5 amps. Now, even though most rectifiers indicate that they take AC as an input, actually they'll take DC as an input too, and that's exactly what we want here. So this will be great for our purposes. Now, what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna take the output from the plus and minus and put that into our electromagnet, and that's gonna become our permanent magnet, so to speak. And that's what's gonna help us run our DC. Okay, so let's take a look at our locomotive here again. And what we see is we have the slider here. This is actually the quote unquote positive for what it's worth. This is the engineer's side. And we're gonna want to actually wire that to the red of our decoder. All decoders pretty much have the same colors. So this is, since this is the engineer's or the right side pickup, we'll do that. Okay, as far as the conductors or the negative side, um, this particular model has the negative side wired directly into the frame, so I'll be able to actually take the black um, part of the decoder and wire it onto the frame directly. There are some other options, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now as far as our magnet, that's right here. This is what we need to convert into a permanent or one-way magnet, and we do that by wiring uh, our bridge rectifier into these two wires here and that'll make sure that the flow is in one direction, which will turn this into a one-way magnet. Okay, so after we do that, um, we're gonna connect either the gray or the orange onto one of these motor terminals and uh, the other one onto the other terminal. And if you notice, there's a small diode and there is also um, a lead coming off of the winding for the electromagnet that goes to this terminal. We can just get rid of all that. So in fact, that's what I've done here. Um, and now we're gonna wanna solder a wire onto this terminal so that we can actually connect. And again, this doesn't need to be there, so we'll just insulate it and call it a day. Okay, here you can see I've actually soldered a blue wire on. And at this point, I don't know which side is actually going to take the orange and which side is going to take the gray 
Um, and now there's a way to find out, but frankly, it's just easier just to swap them if you can't figure it out. So you can just swap those two and uh, we'll just work on it later. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is convert this electromagnet into a one-way magnet. We don't want an alternating current going through it. We want it to go one direction. And the way we do that is that one of these electromagnetic leads will go into the positive on the rectifier and the other one will go into the negative on the rectifier. Okay, once we've done that, um, once we've taken care of these two, we're going to choose either orange or gray for one of these motor leads. And again, we can just swap them if we get them wrong. Okay, here's where a handy dandy rectifier comes in and this is where the magic happens. What we need to do is we need to wire the orange into one of the AC inputs and wire the gray into the other one. It doesn't matter which because again, it'll be rectified into the correct positive and minus no matter what. This is exactly what we want since we're going to wire the positive and uh, negative into the electromagnetic just as I showed in the other diagram. Okay, from there we want to go ahead and wire in our motor terminals, one into one side of the AC and one into the other. You, you know, here you're combining the wires from the decoder and the wires to the motor, and it's fine because um, that will just transfer directly into the motor. So here's what you'll have, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just a standard DC um, transformer that goes into DC track just to show you that this in fact works. And this transformer is going to take the place of the decoder because I don't wanna to have to sit there and wire it all up at this moment to prove to you that this works. So here's the completed product again. Um, once again, you can make this as fancy or as nice as you want. This is about as nice as I ever get for what it's worth. But once again, here is the diagram for you to take a look at. Pretty basic, and uh, I hope you're able to do this with pretty much ease. Now, once you wire your decoder in, um, it's taking the place of the DC transformer that I just showed you. Here's another example. I had to use weighted tape to hold it down because the shell actually is metal in this hag, um, and it holds it down on track so that it gets good continuity. And here we go again. It wanted to run off the table. Okay, so it's pretty basic, and we were able to convert this um, AC locomotive into DCC um, with just one extra part for under a dollar. Now, of course, you need to have a DCC decoder, but this technique will work with any DCC decoder, no problem, unless your DCC decoder um, is higher amperage than um, the actual rectifiers, which you want to be really careful of. So um, you can see me sort of tuning it here and taking my time to make sure that everything lines up and that, um, you know, it actually works. It does have some low speed surging, which I'm going to have to take care of via the decoder CV values, but I don't think that'll be a problem whatsoever. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If this kind of thing helps you, you know, stay tuned to my channel and I'll try to do this as much as possible. Um, be sure to subscribe and that way you're notified of anything that I might come up with. And, you know, make comments. Um, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. And, of course, like and share this with everybody you know who might benefit. Thanks a bunch for watching.